Welcome to App on Board Studio Training. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make a simple linear unit with basic tap functionality. We will share steps to create and adjust these elements without having to write a single line of code. This is a playthrough of the unit we will create. Let's get started. Before starting this unit, please be sure to download the AOBeat storyboard and assets in the link below. After logging in, you will see the Create New Project window. Enter your project name first. Then choose an orientation. Select a destination folder for your project. Please note that all assets will also be copied to this location. Click Get Started. Welcome to the workspace. The first thing we're going to do is add our assets. On the bottom left corner, select Add Assets. Locate the assets on your computer and click Open. Next, let's create the scenes for our project. On the top right, you'll notice that there's a scene already created. Let's change the scene name to Splash Screen by clicking on the name. Next, let's select the Properties tab to ensure that this scene is recognized as the first scene for the project. Click the Properties tab. Click First Scene. Now let's create the rest of the scenes for our project. Follow along on the storyboard as provided. You'll notice that there are four scenes that need to be created. The next scene we'll create is called Chill Playlist. Scene number three is called Chill Song 1. Scene number four is called End Card. Click Add Scene each time to create the scene and click the title to change the name. Once all the scenes are created, let's make sure the end card is recognized as the last scene for the project. Highlight the end card, click the Properties tab, and select End Scene. Next, let's add assets to our scenes. Let's select the splash screen first. On the bottom left, you'll find the asset associated with your splash screen, titled Splash Screen MP4. Let's drag and drop that asset to our canvas view. Next, let's add a transition to this scene. On the top left, hit the plus sign near Transitions. Select After Video so that the transition occurs after the video is played. Click the Move to Scene dropdown and click the next scene, which is Chill Playlist. Now let's review the Path View by selecting Path View in the top middle of the screen to make sure that this transition makes sense. You'll notice that our splash screen moves to Chill Playlist after the video ends. Let's click the canvas view again to return to our canvas view. Now let's add the assets to the next scene, Chill Playlist. Locate the Chill Playlist.mp4 and drag it to our canvas view. Notice you have options on the bottom to play, pause, or replay your video. On the left, we'll want to set this video to looping. So we'll click Play Video and select Looping. Now let's add a gesture area to this scene. Click Elements tab and drag and drop a gesture to the scene. You can resize the gesture and move it accordingly. Let's play the scene to make sure that this gesture makes sense. You can hit the play button on the bottom middle. Now let's set up this gesture. The first thing we want to do is title the gesture. On the top, select the name and type in Chill Song 1. Next, let's set the commands for this gesture. Click Add Gesture to Area on the bottom right and the options will appear. Let's choose Tap. Since this is a tap gesture, and at the bottom, let's make sure a transition is selected. Click Add Transition and make sure that this transition moves from Chill Playlist to Chill Song 1. Now, let's add the assets to Chill Song 1. On the bottom left, select the Assets tab and drag and drop Chill underscore 1 MP4 to your canvas view. And let's also add the sound element, Chill underscore 1 MP3. 
Let's make sure that our video is playing on enter on the top left, as well as the sound is also playing on enter. We'll also want to add an action here that makes the song stop when the scene exits. Click add action on the top left and select stop sound effect. Make sure you toggle that to on exit. On the right, you'll be able to choose the specific sound element to do so. Let's toggle the video on the bottom middle to make sure that it plays correctly. Next, we're gonna add a transition. Hit plus transition and make sure that this scene moves to the end card once it's complete. Next, we're going to add an element and drag a gesture area to your canvas view. Resize the gesture area so that it covers the back screen. Let's title this gesture Chill Song 1 Back Button. Now we're going to add a transition to this area, a tap, and make sure this transition moves to the end card. Next, let's review the path view to make sure our unit progresses in the correct way. Now let's add our video asset to our end card. Select the end card on the top right, and then locate the end card asset on the bottom left. Let's drag that asset directly to the canvas view. This is a looping video, so let's make sure to select looping by selecting play video on the top left and marking the box for looping. You've now completed your first build in App On Board Studio.